other than the techniques which I have explained that is interviewing, Delphi technique and brainstorming and SWOT analysis. There are other techniques of risk identification includes the checklist, analysis of assumptions and creation of diagrams. So the checklists are based on risk encountered in previous projects provide a meaningful template for understanding risk in a current project. So you can use checklist similar to those developed by various IIT uh, sorry IIT projects then it is important to analyze project assumptions to make sure they are valid incomplete inaccurate or inconsistent assumptions might lead to identifying more risk then another technique is diagramming technique which includes using cause and effect diagrams or fishbone diagrams flow charts and influence diagrams so as we have seen in project quality management, the fishbone diagram helps you to trace the problems back to their roots. Systems or process flowcharts are diagrams that show how different parts of a system interrelated. Then another type of diagram are influence diagram which represents decision problems by displaying essential elements including decisions, uncertainties, causality and objectives and how they influence each other.